YouTube, what's up, man? This is a draft champions game. I'm going to bring you guys. Recently, I've been uploading a couple videos, man. Some without editing, just the full game. And other times, I'll take the time to edit games, man. Let me know in the comments below if you like the full game better or you like me to edit the game. Cut it down to about 10 minutes, man, because I'm really trying to figure out what's the best way to put my gameplay up. And this is one against my man, Saya Joe. Sai Joe been around forever. He's a you know a, a good Madden player. Plays for a lot of money. Got gamble him a lot, and you know always on the leaderboards. Pretty sure you guys have run into this guy if you play on the leaderboards a little bit. This is Draft Champions. Don't ask me about these jerseys. I use them as the strategy jerseys for uh, Mutt. You know to get me locked down on all my in my salary cap team. And because of that, you know they're my strategy jersey. But you still make sure wear in in Draft Champions. That's aggravating. First play you see comes out here in two tight ends. Second play will come out in three wide receivers, so I'm in like dollar. And then he'll get the next play. What happens is, or I'll also show you what happens. I get pancaked here. And what he does is no huddles. He no huddles because I was in dollar and he was in two tight ends. I'm going to get pancaked again. Instead of calling timeout, I'm going to go off sides. Just give him the first down because, I mean, he's still in his territory. It was a second and three anyway. I feel like giving him the first down there was definitely the better move than burning one of my timeouts. They're not as valuable in the first half as they are in the second half, but they're still valuable. They can help you get the ball back, help you score before the half, maybe get an extra three or something like that. So I always cherish my timeouts. So I gave him the first down there instead of going ahead and using a timeout. As you see, size it's not a playbook that he's comfortable with. You kind of have to play somebody so many times you get familiar with what they're comfortable in. Uh, but Saya is a good freestyler. He, he'll, you know, cook up anything. And he's always been good with his quarterback. Luckily for me, he has Tom Brady, which is not intimidating at all in the scramble factor. I know he's going to be back there standing still. Big hit stick there by Mark Barron over the middle. Make some drops. We get to a third and long. I try this match coverage. A lot of people like this match. So I run my loop without making really any adjustments. And we see he has all day here and somehow... Patrick Peterson's the 85 speed Peterson's left on an island over there with Randall Cobb gets burnt over the top. So I give up a touchdown trying that. So I won't try that coverage again. Gave it a shot. He's actually going elected to go with a squib kick every single time. I mean, the kickoffs, since they patched the scum kick, I mean, the kickoffs are getting a little testy out here. First play dot over the middle. I'm actually in the Green Bay playbook. This is an offense I ran in the beginning of Madden 18, which is a Green Bay doubles. I'm running a lot of flanker dig, a lot of, you know, table routes, in routes, little dump offs. Here we see the table route right here. In this game, I'm actually going to pitch a perfect game. I'm not going to have any completions. The ball is not going to touch the grass at all. Throw it over the middle here to this guy, Moore. Now, I don't know what team this guy, Moore, is on, but, man, he's pretty good. 88 speed in draft champions is really fast. Once again, you see him holding on to the ball there, fighting, getting it inside the one. Stops my quarterback, Sneak. And once again, he stops my quarterback sneak. So you got to go fullback dive, put it on aggressive, fullback dive. My man, Kerryon Johnson, falls forward into the end zone. Tie the game up 7-7. Seven to seven. Want to make sure no more match covers, no more goofy touchdowns. Stop the run. That's pretty much what I got to do defensively. I hit the ball at half, so hopefully we can leave with a tie here or be winning, you know, God willing. So... I said the next play is under center. I expected a run, but we get tons of pressure here. Once again, Tom Brady's not going to escape the pocket. Miles Garrett, that's a great card to pick with so much strength. Here he goes. Little quick corner route dot. I need that's Richard Sherman. I got in the slot, man. He needs to make a play on that. Drop, knock the ball out. Base Richard Sherman is pretty slow. And Josh Norman gets the post caught in front of him. And Julio Jones going to walk it for a touchdown. I went for the pick there, went real aggressive. Hopefully the hyper warp in front of him, like they let you sometimes. But here you always keep playing, and we're able to block the extra point. That's huge in a tight game, especially with this much time left on the clock. I have all my timeouts left because I didn't use one early in the half. So I want to be able to go ahead and try to get some points here before half. I get the ball at half. So any points here is a good thing. Plenty of time all day. We hit Eric Ebron on the, underneath. 85-speed tight end and draft champions is lethal. I love when I get Eric Ebron. Here we go again to hit the post over top. That's Steve Smith Sr. Ice up, son. He'll be heard from later in the game. Throwing on carry on Johnson, my running back. I actually have Christian McCaffrey, two running backs, but I use McCaffrey a wide receiver. I thought his receiving stats and things like that would be better than other uh, running backs, so I picked him in my running back round. I have carry on Johnson as my main running back, but I'm using McCaffrey a wide receiver. Speaking of carry on, we throw it underneath to him, boom. 
Got to score a touchdown out here. Time's running out, but I have all three times out, timeouts, so I have all day. And here we go, Patrick Mahomes, man. Team of the week, Patrick Mahomes. Fast enough to get this first down. Clock is still running. We're in 20 seconds. Still have all my timeouts. Plenty of time, but LT, Lawrence Taylor, the legend, sacks me around the edge. Boom, Steve Smith. I told you to be heard from again. We do a high ball to a 5'9 receiver. I mean, this is open. It's just cover two, curl route. We do it high. And Steve Smith mosses three people, man. That's why you draft a legend wide receiver. Make plays like that. They're huge. Bang. I don't get my extra point blocks. So we're at one point to go into the half. Kick off here. We got to cover a kick. Make sure no fluky dookie pops off. Been pretty good kicking the ball all the way to the side. For me, it's been working pretty well. I want to keep trying to come up with a better kickoff, though, or steal one of these kids' kickoffs. He was trying to make something happen before half. That's how we're going to halftime. I have not thrown an incompletion with Patrick Mahomes, using Ebron, using McCaffrey, using Steve Smith Sr. and my man Moore. Everybody's touching the ball. We're really moving around well. So if I go ahead and score a touchdown here, that's going to be great. Go up uh, eight points, hopefully, because of that blocked extra point, man. Oh, shoot. I need to start trying to block more extra points just seeing how big it is in, in, in the grand scheme of a game. Here he goes. Mark Barron picks the ball up, gets up just in time to get stripped, but he holds on to the ball. Here we go again. Dumping the ball off. I saw pressure there, so my first read snap, go to the table route. Not even like a table route, more just like a little extended handoff. High ball up there to Ebron. Left the seam open. That's why I put him on a fade there. Table route again, man. They're going, you're going to play hard flats. If you play me one thing about me, you know you're going to, I'm going to force you to play hard flats. We're not going to get out here playing clouds all day. Lawrence Taylor came around that edge again like a demon. Hard to really make anything happen with that. Hit Ebron on a pulse route. And, of course, he gets stripped. Picks up. Now we got to make a tackle. We can't let a strip go to the, to the end zone. Good straight by Mahomes, but even though he got trucked. Man, but I definitely stopped the spin and we're able to catch him. So we didn't give up a touchdown, but we definitely got stripped. But as long as it's not point, doesn't result in points, we're okay. Let's try to just hold the door. Those underneath McCaffrey. Spin, spin, spin. Just press B a thousand times. He goes to this wheel route to his running back. We get to a third and three. He's in two tight ends again. Now, last time I, I went off sides, I don't want to give him the first down here. I just blitzed everybody, expecting to run a thousand percent of the time. I'm expecting to run. When the play breaks down, he's actually going to pass. And what happens is, when the play breaks down, I see two drags. I got to pick one to lurk, and boom. He threw the post route the same time I was lurking the drag. Was able to get that pick with a. Uh, Jair Alexander, the rookie on the Packers, the gauntlet one. He has 88 speed in this mode, which is super fast in drag champions. We'll see again right before the snap. I'm playing the run. I see two drags go down. Pick the one on the left. Let's just hope to jump one. And he throws the post and, you know, ball hawk, Madden. So the skill gap allows you to pick it off and take it to the Baja. So without scoring another offensive touchdown, I have no incompletions and get a defensive touchdown. So now we're up eight points. Got to hold the door. Always love being up eight. Right now, I'm pretty much I just want to keep everything in front of me. Man, make them take a lot of time. It's hard for anybody to get seven on me, let alone get eight. So I feel pretty good on defense. And Patrick Peterson makes this pick, but he steps out of bounds. Man, I need better awareness from Pat Pete right there. Finally, we stopped the the running back wheel route. Man, that's definitely something he went to a lot every time it was open. As you see him throw it here again. I think that's Eckler catches it. Jeez, I need him to drop that one. Fourth and five. I'm not going to overplay it. I, I love him to throw it again. Bad. I eventually I should cover this. But the running back, like I said, he's taking a lot of time. Not getting huge chunks of yard. Not even past the 50 yet. Just want to get into the fourth quarter. Just want to keep making him use some time. He'll get greedy eventually. He throws the post here. And, man, I wish my guys would jump up on that. That's Stephon Gilmore at a free safety there. Not making a play. Get a lot of pressure here. We'll see. He's starting to get greedy. He had the table right or the wheel route again. He didn't take it. Throws the seam route. That's another one. I guess I got to move my safeties up way closer to the line. Get to the fourth quarter. All this pressure. Like I said, he has Brady. Can't go anywhere. Shelby gets some slides down. He gets a scramble for one. Just got to hold the door down here. Goes with two curls. Throws the one that's super covered. Wish he would have picked that off. Next play, throws a little flat. Boom. Ah, hold the door. We held him out of the end zone. He's going to go to goal line. I'm worried about fullback dive. I got my linebacker ready to shoot. And, of course, somehow we don't stop. Quarterback sneak. Jeez. Next play, 
Two point conversion. Gotta get off the field here. Wide open tight end. Boom. But he's holding. Obviously on fourth down he put it on aggressive. Forgot to turn off aggressive blocking. Gets the holding call on the two point conversion. That's huge. Back him up. And right now I'm thinking, man, it's gotta be some type of high ball. Some type of I mean, pretty much I'm just gonna play cover two. Play the sticks, pretty much put all my zones right there at the goal line. Hopefully tackle them. Going to be some type of low ball, high ball action. <sighs> Excuse me. Maybe a curl, something like that. And what I'll do, I'll put Jair Alexander right there. I'll put him in a quarter instead of a half so he stays more to the middle. Honestly, should have did that with my other safety because the middle is still pretty open right here. But he tries a low ball and just a thousand zones right there. So he tries an onside kick, doesn't get it. So because of the block extra point and because stopping the two-point conversion, of course, the onside kick, he gets up just in time to get stripped. But because of that, I'm, I'm winning this game right now. Keep my perfect quarterback rating going. Throw it to Eric Ebron there underneath. He's already down one timeout. Just got to get into the rest of these timeouts. Hit the comeback route over here to my man Moore. Still perfect. 15 for 15. Bang, that time we got sacked. Who got me that time? Ziggy Ansah. Well, I mean, we see Lawrence Taylor kill him all day. Got into his time out there. Next play, we're just going to scramble. Playmaker back. Patrick Mahomes making that play. This is going to take it to two-minute warning. 16 for 16. Feeling great, and this is going to end the game. Just a little scramble. Wait for my blocker. Second level. Looked like a quarterback draw. How smooth that worked. I mean, I just dropped back. Saw this Red Sea part. Stepped up. Pause a little bit so my running back could go block for me. You will see I run up here. Boom, I'm going to just put the brakes on a little bit. Running back, turn around, catch that block for me, get past the line, and get down. That's going to secure the bag. That's going to end the game, man. It's definitely a huge play I made. Second level stuff, man. Scramble, stop, and go just to get your blocker in front of him. And silently has one timeout left. He's going to quit the game after that, man. So please, man, hit the like button. Please sub to the channel. Like I said, comment below whether you like the edited games or you like a full game, man. Let me know because that's what I want to cater to.